Former head of interim government, Chief Ernest Shonekan, was laid to rest today in Lagos. The railroad service had in attendance the vice president of Nigeria, Yemi Oshibanja, the former president, good luck, Billy Jonathan, secretary to the government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, the minister of information, Lai Mohammed, former head of state, Yakubo Gowan, the Lagos state governor, Babajide Sonwolu, Ogun State Governor Dako Abiodu, former Governor of Ogun State Ibikule Amoso, as well as the Governor of Edo State Godwin Obaseki, amongst others. The funeral service was held at the Cathedral Church of Christ Marina, Lagos State, which was presided over by the primate of the Church of Nigeria and other bishops were in attendance. Chief Shonaka, who served as the head of interim national government between August and November 1993, died on the 11th of January 2022 at the age of 86. At the service, Oshibanjo said that the late Shodako lived an extraordinary life, adding that he had respect for all and the was a way he carried himself through life. I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus Christ died and rose again, even so, God will bring with him those who are falling asleep in Jesus Christ. And as Shoneko, he has led this world of thriving wickedness. He has led the church militant with all his difficulties and problems and is now at rest in the church triumphant. Praise ye the Lord. His love for God was easily visible in how he did with other people. And I'm aware that to his wife, and to his children, he was the best husband and father anyone would ever wish to have. In the light of that, to reflect on our ongoing human experience, that Chief Enoshonekon lived an extraordinary life, is self-evident. His accomplishments as a businessman, a political figure, and a bridge builder is already the stuff of legend and will be talked about for generations. But perhaps what deserves greater attention is the way he carried himself through life and the high values he exemplified. That genuine respect that he had for all people, of all classes, of all religions, of all tribes and gender. His unflinching belief in the inherent goodness of everyone. His love and generosity, not just to his family, but to all. His knowledge and experience driven leadership and counsel that he provided always with unfailing humility and courteousness. These were the unique virtues that underpinned his extraordinary achievements. Your Excellencies, and Shonekon lives a life, a life lesson for the nation that he leaves behind. What might that be? We would be right to think of Chief Ernest Shonekon as a man of destiny, a man chosen for his time just as we would also be right to think of Nigeria as a nation of destiny, uniquely positioned to be a rallying point and an inspiration for the entire black race. At the time of his death, it was the third oldest surviving Nigerian head of state after Queen Elizabeth II and General Yakubu Gowan. Olamide Adiemi, Captain TV News, Lagos.